Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of I'm That Car Guy, Tim. Right now we're at the Kid Creek Rest Area and we're just on our way through Creston, going to Caslow to check out the SS Moye Stern Wheeler. Now, if you don't know about this stern wheeler, it's crucial to the history of the area and it's crucial to the history of Kootenai Lake. An interesting fact about Creston is this is the home of Kokanee Deer. Now, it's named for the Kokanee Glacier, which is just over the range a little bit. So when you're cracking open a cold Kokanee, just think, you're probably drinking beer that was brewed right here in Creston. Okay guys, I pulled over at Cuscanook Harbor right behind me and you can also see behind me is the beautiful Kootenai Lake fed in and out by the Kootenai River. This thing is huge. It's 140 kilometers long and maximum width is five kilometers. So this thing is huge. And you can see this place is extremely popular in the summer because look at how the boat trailers and this is just up in the rest stop parking lot there's more further down by the boat launch too wow this place is popular MV Bow 4 now and we're crossing Kootenai Lake. This just happens to be the world's longest scenic free ferry ride. Now due to coronavirus pandemic right now you can't get out of your vehicle and wander around. And you know what the views from your vehicle aren't too bad. I mean you got your own tunes, uh, you can hop out of your sunroof, I love having the center on my truck. Whatever. You know, it's it's a small little sacrifice that we can make to help the rest of the province and indeed the world get control of this thing. And with that coronavirus restriction that you have to stay in your own vehicle, I don't know what it's like before corona, but now <laughs> they stuff you in like sardines. ferry and now we are on highway 31 heading towards Ainsworth and Caslow so I don't know if you can hear that but at seven o'clock still Town of Caslow rings the bells for the frontline workers. It's pretty cool. It rings at the Village Hall, built in 1898. It's only one of two intact wooden municipal buildings still in use in Canada and the oldest remaining town hall on the BC mainland. The village of about 900 was established as a hub for forestry in the silver boom of the late 1800s and still retains, through dutiful preservation, much of the character of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. In a town chock full of historical buildings, the Langham here still stands as a reminder of the Japanese-Canadian internment in Caslow from 1942 to 1946. But onto the other historical site we're here to explore. So the SS Moyer is a national historic site here in Canada. It is the oldest known surviving intact passenger sternwheeler in the world. Now, in its day, there were hundreds of these things 
roaming up and down from California all the way up to the Northwest Territories, Yukon, and Alaska. The Moye was run by the Canadian Pacific Railway from 1898 all the way up to 1957. So the SS Moye was built in 1898, and as you can tell, this thing was a coal steamer. Now, at its peak, it could burn a ton of coal an hour. So this area here was used to control this stern wheeler. Now, over here, this is the engine controls here, and then over there, that little hanging part there, that is your throttle control. Now right back that way is the paddle and here is the mechanism that powers that paddle now there's one on this side and one all the way over on that side these things made incredible power now the SS Moye hauled a lot of cargo in its day and that cargo varied from everything from apples to stoves to Model T's so by the late 20s, stern wheelers like the SS Moye were carrying more and more of these. Now, I'm not talking the chickens, I'm talking the unit that's carrying the chickens. That there is a 1919 Ford Model TT. Now, this ship had a capacity of about six or seven of these things, and the deck was actually raised and bigger doors were installed to accommodate these vehicles. Now, as time went on, Roads were improved and services like this weren't really needed anymore. So this here is the SS Moyer's paddle wheel itself. Now, this thing is about 5.2 meters in diameter and it turned at about 15 revolutions per minute. Okay, so we just came up a really thin flight of stairs. Now remember, back in the day, that was the standard for stairs. So now we're heading into the cabin of the SS Moye. Wow, this is incredible. I love all the stained glass and just, just the detail that went into this. You don't see a lot of that anymore on ships. The SS Moye was a luxurious ship in her day, designed to not only get her passengers from A to B, but to do so in style, comfort, and a luxury that few were accustomed to. She also acted as an early cruise ship, offering excursions up and down the lake for fun. A piano was on offer for evening dancing after a gourmet meal. Cabins were available too. Later in life after World War I and with improved road and rail access, the Moye eventually found herself to be the last of her kind in service on the lake, reduced to mere cargo and barge duties. The longest service record for any stern wheeler nearly 60 years, the Moye was sold by the Canadian Pacific Railway to the city of Caslow for a dollar and was perched out of the water for restoration and preservation. She still sits in that very spot today, a proud and poignant reminder of days gone by. Caslow is such a beautiful, beautiful town. If you ever get a chance to visit, I highly, highly recommend it. Park, get out of your vehicle. It's a very walkable town. And when you walk throughout the town, there's so much history there. It's, it's unbelievable. That is all for today's episode. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure to follow along on Instagram and Facebook at That Car Guy Tim. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys next week. Have fun. Get her done.